So this is the app that I made in MATLAB and in this video we are going to learn how to make this type of app in MATLAB. So without wasting a time, let's get started. In our previous video we have learned this way to open the app designer. But in this video we are going to explore another way. For that we will go to this home tab. In home tab we will click on this new. Here we will go to this app and app designer. Just click here. And there we go. We have this app designer. Okay so now what do we want to make? We want to make this app right. So to make this app in step number one what we are going to do we are going to add edit field and a button. But before we add this edit field and a button to this canvas let me show you this code view right. So this is a raw code for this application. Now when we add a few components to this let's add this edit field and a button. So when we add components to this canvas this type of few lines of code has been automatically added to this code view. Later in this video I'll explain what it means right. Now let's jump to this design view. So now in step number one we have added this edit field and a button. So what do we want to do in step number one? When I press this button I want to print something in this section. So in order to do this let's jump to code view and first we'll understand what this code view is and then we'll start writing code for that. Here this matlab.apps.appsbase is a base class provided by MATLAB for creating apps. It includes essential functionality that is common to all application created using MATLAB app designer such as managing the app, interacting with UI or interacting with UI components and many more. Here in this line this class def class def app1 it defines a new class named app1 that inherits from matlab.app.appbase class. So simply we can say that the app we are going to make is the new defined class which we are defining as app1 and that inherits from this base class. Now we'll jump to this properties but before that you quickly tell me what is the use of class def in this code. Quickly write what do you think about that in comment section and then we'll move ahead. Now here we have this properties section. This section is used as a function that corresponds to app components. Just keep in your mind that we are not defining these things. The app designer has already developed the properties for the block we are using from this app designer. Now below this here we have create component function. This function will include the properties of all the components that we have dragged and dropped into this canvas. What are the properties? The properties like name of that component, its alignment, its position on canvas like these properties have been mentioned over here. And yeah you cannot make any changes in any of this property. If you think that I want to change the name of this edit field and you write anything but you will not be able to make any change in this section. Even in this entire code you will not be able to make any change except one place. And what would be that place? Wait for some time. Later in this video I am going to explain that. Now let's jump to this final section this one. This section has many things to do with our app like initializing new instance of the app, calls a method to create and configure the UI component or to register the app, clears the app instance from the workspace and ensure to delete UI properties when the app instance is deleted. So this type of task will be performed by this section of code okay so i think now you have clear idea about all the section of this code so now let's get back to the design view before we move ahead there is a quick short question for you and the question is this are we able to make any changes here in this final section your options are yes or no quickly write your opinion in comment section once you are done with that then we can move ahead so now let's go to this design view so now here in step number one we are going to learn how to write something in this edit field when we press this button. So 
what we are going to write over here mm, generally in very first program people used to learn to print hello world so what do we do here when we press this button a hello world text should be displayed in this text box and that is what we want to achieve so for that let's start programming so we want to take action when we press this button so we'll start with this button we'll right click this button go to this callbacks and then we'll add some conditions so click here add button pushed function callback so when we click that we'll directly jump into this code view in this section so we can edit in this section so previously I have told you that we cannot edit anything in this entire code except one place and that one place is this highlighted square box right so whatever type of code you want to write that you can write over here but except this place you cannot do anything so our goal here is to create a function that defines the action to take place when the button is pushed so this is our function when the button is pushed this function will be executed so we want to print hello world in edit field this is the component right so we'll start with app dot edit field this app indicate our current application <coughs> then dot and then this edit field indicate the component we wants to deal with here we wants to deal with this edit field so how this edit field is written the same way we wants to write it here and then what do we want to do with this edit field we want to change the value in that blank box so what do we do we will write dot value equal to in single inverted comma hello world so when this function is executed this thing will be executed in sequence in this app into this edit field the value of this edit field will be equal to hello world I'll keep making small mistakes in our syntax which usually students makes when they write code right so that you can make yourself aware about that so after writing this much what do we do we will run this code and when we run this code it will ask us to save so we will save this as app 1 let's save it so when you run this UI figure a separate popped up window will be open and this is the interface of our application now when you press this button it shows an error that means there is something wrong with the code that we have written so now we learn how to read the error here the error is unrecognized property value for class matlab.ui control edit field that means for this edit field this value is unrecognized function so the problem with this is we supposed to write capital V instead of small v so now I have corrected the syntax and let's run it again now when we press this button hello world is printed oh in this world O is capital right so now we'll close this thing we'll make this O small now we'll make one small change over here instead of this capital F what if we'll write small f let's run this is the app UI when we push this button again it shows the error and this time the error is with method property or field edit field it shows that there is something wrong with this edit field so you will be able to rectify the errors like this you correct it run it and there we go hello world now we will close it and now we will make some changes over here we will make this field little bit bigger right and instead this edit field I want to write final output so when I make this change over here final output you will be able to see that final output edit field that has already been updated over here and the same way 
over here also initially it was written as added field but now when we make changes in design view that automatically reflect in code view so in code view in this section you cannot make any change but if you make any change over here that will be reflected in codes here we have seen that the design view was appearing on left side but instead of this left side what if i want it on right side right so that change we are going to make so again we'll write app dot edit field but now the name of our edit field is final output edit field right so we'll update it final output edit field and what do we want to change we want to change its alignment right so a property for that is horizontal alignment so horizontal alignment we make it right right now let's run push the button ah too much spelling mistake horizontal alignment so you have corrected this now let's run when you push this button the hello world section is shifted on right hand side we are aiming to make this app and for that our step number 1 is over now we'll start our step number 2 but in this video this much is enough in next video we'll learn how to add checkbox to our application and how to add few more complex logic to our application so here you will be able to find our next video so now let's jump to the next video